Hey, what's up, guys? It's your friend, Fast Eddie. And today I got a nice, pretty, uh, big chunk of movies here to go through. So let's just hop right in and see what all we got. So, first up, I do have a couple of, uh, rebuys, I guess you could say. But, uh, first up is Julie and Julia. Now, I did have this one before, before I had to sell, uh, most of my stuff. So I had to get this one back. Uh, I guess it is kind of a chick flick maybe, but I don't know, not really. It's just one of those, um, I guess, kind of romantic comedy uh, documentary type deals. But it's a great movie, guys, so I had to get this back. You can't go wrong with Meryl Streep, and I love Amy Adams. She's a hottie. Anyway, there's Julie and Julia. Uh, not much, I don't think, going on on the inside here. Nice cover art and uh, very cool looking uh, picture there in the background. So yeah, there's Julie and Julia. And then next up, you'll see that I got this one again because I did purchase this one at Best Buy since somebody told me that they had restocked some of their uh, out-of-print stuff. This one I bought off of eBay, brand new seal and all that good stuff, and it cost me like 17 or 18 bucks plus shipping just because I thought it was out of print. Then went to e I mean uh, Best Buy and saw for eight bucks. So now I am left with another one. So this will either probably be like in my contest that's coming up or giveaway or trade or something like that so yeah then we get night at the museum that's a pretty cool funny movie uh great family flick um it does look really good the cgi is pretty well done the uh it sounds really good um i think they went a little too far with the second one for sure uh i wasn't really too into that one at all but this one's pretty good something different pretty fun uh let's see what we get in here this one was used so we don't get any inserts but uh it does have pretty cool looking artwork on the disc. It looks nice. Up next, we get The Uninvited. Pretty cool little uh, thriller here. I wouldn't consider this like a total horror movie. Uh, like I said, I guess this is more of a thriller. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I don't want to give anything away if you haven't seen it. But uh, definitely worth checking out. It's got a cool little twist at the end. Good flick here, guys. The Uninvited. Not much going on in the artwork section for sure. But yeah. The Uninvited. Up next, we get a really cool one here. I didn't even realize it was out. And so I was checking through Blu-ray.com, and I saw this. So the search was on, man. Here is Groundhog Day. This is the special 15th anniversary edition. And obviously, we got Bill Murray and Andy McDowell. What a great film this is, and I'm so happy that it's out on Blu-ray. I hope the transfer looks good. I haven't popped this one in yet. It does have a few special features, but not as many as I would think for an uh, anniversary special edition. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to go through all of them because i got a lot of movies to go through, guys. But uh, here it is. Awesome looking artwork on the disc, and it does have the cool little picture in the background there of Bill Murray. Very nice looking. Uh, like I said, not as much as I was thinking, you know, for a special edition or whatever. But still, nonetheless, I'm glad to have this on Blu-ray. Up next, we get I Am Legend. Now, I haven't seen this one yet in uh, high def at all. So, uh, very pleased to finally get this one. I don't know why I put this off so long getting this, but uh, glad I got it now. I haven't watched it yet either, like I said, on Blu-ray. So, this will be fun. I can't wait to see what the transfer looks like. Um, it says this one includes the alternate theatrical version. With a controversial ending. Ooh. Mind-blowing excitement. It is a pretty good film. Uh, this one was used. Kind of boring. Nothing going on in the interior. Decent looking artwork on the disc though. I am legend. Up next we get one of my favorite films. Uh, I mean maybe not like top 10 or top 20. But it's up there somewhere in my top 50. This is obviously Blow. With the freaking awesome Johnny Depp. And the freaking hot Penelope Cruz. Oh I love me some Penelope Cruz baby. Anyway, I'm sure everybody knows all about this movie. Uh, smart, sexy, and dangerous. Woo! -hoo. Front and back here. Very cool, man. This is another uh, pretty original film, I think. Um, and if you know me, you know Depp's my favorite actor, and uh, I just can't get enough of her. But yeah, here is two discs. We get one white and one red. I guess the white is supposed to uh, be like what the movie is all about. But yeah, very cool. Blow. Then we get Memento. Now, uh, I bought this one because this is going to be the one that I will be just using for watching. I did finally find one with the uh, lenticular slip, so I will obviously keep that one wrapped up in my little baggies and keep this one just for watching. But yeah, everybody knows this film as well. Great, uh, uh, another masterpiece here by Christopher Nolan. Very cool. Memento. Then we get 
Cabin Fever. Now, this is a pretty cool horror flick here. Something kind of different, you know. Uh, you're just your typical, I guess, kids going out on, you know, staying in a, a weird place in the middle of the woods and all kinds of shit starts happening. But they did it well, and it's a very good job at it. Cabin Fever, front and back here. Open it up. Not a whole lot going on. It's got a cheapo case, so you know I'll be replacing that. And then, uh, decent looking artwork there on the disc, so. I'll take it. Alright, and we get to Ink. Now, I haven't seen this yet before, and, uh, saw the trailer for this, obviously, on YouTube, and then had to pick it up. I'm really getting into this, like, uh, fantasy, sci-fi, thriller type deal, man. I can't get enough of it. I love movies that can, like, just, um really transport me to somewhere else, you know what I mean? I like a little bit trippy looking, um, you know, just visually stunning movies, so I uh, definitely had to pick this one up. Like I said, it's called Ink. There's the front and the back. Check out the insides here. Not a lot going on, but it is the full thick case and the disc, and that's it. So yeah, there's Ink. Can't wait to check that one out. And last for the regular keep cases, got the Warriors. We are the Warriors! This is the Ultimate Director's Cut. Very cool. Picked this up once again at Best Buy for eight bucks. So I was very happy to get that. Front and back, and then on the inside here, not a whole lot going on as well. But once again, we do get the full case and pretty cool looking artwork on the disc. Yeah, guys, this is a great flick, man. If you haven't seen this, you, you need to. <laughs> this is uh 1979. Oh wow, I was thinking more 80s type deal, but uh, yeah, great flick here, guys. Go check this one out for sure. The Warriors. All right, now let's get into some of the slipcovers. Uh, first up, Bambi. Bet you didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Actually, this is Bambi 2. Uh, I guess this was sent to me kind of like on accident because I didn't, you know, check off the uh, do not send this to me uh, for this month. But uh, they sent it to me anyway. It's Bambi 2. Hey, you know, the family will like it. The kids will dig it. So, you know, obviously I'm going to keep it. I just didn't want to spend 35 bucks on a uh, Disney flick. Decent looking slipcover though. Uh, Disney usually does put out good ones. It is embossed and holographic and all that good stuff. So, you know, I'll definitely keep it and take my 125 uh, Disney reward points. Up next, last night we went out and picked up Thor. Now this is the Best Buy exclusive. I do like it. It's something, you know, a lot different than the other slipcovers that are out there. Uh, haven't even watched this one yet, guys. Like I said, I just bought it last night, so uh, I'll probably pop it in sometime today or tonight. It is very cool looking. There's nothing embossed or raised or holographic. It's just red. <laughs> On the back, though, it's pretty cool. I guess this is the uh, introduction to uh, Saga in the uh, comic books. I'm not a big comic book collector or anything like that, but this does look pretty cool. And another thing is there's no uh, hole cut out, which is neat, you know, usually where the UPC symbol is. Uh, it's just one big, thick uh, case. Anyway, yeah, guys, so there is Thor. Um, guys, I have these wrapped up in my little baggies. If you want to see an unboxing of any of these, just let me know. But for the time being, I'm just showing you right now because I'm already over eight minutes. Uh, up next is something really cool here. Bitch Slap. This is the unrated slipcover edition, although there is no movie in it. <laughs> I bought this one strictly for the slipcover, just because I've never seen one. I don't know if these are readily available in Canada or not. It is in French, so I'm assuming that this is French-Canadian. But, uh, yeah, I've never seen one, so I had to pick it up. Uh, obviously, like I said, it's the unrated version. If I can find the movie, I've never even seen the movie. But, like I said, I never saw the slipcover, so you know me. I had to pick it up. But, uh, yeah, if you guys know where I could pick up a Blu-ray uh, movie of Bitch Slap, let me know, please. And then we get a really cool one here. Uh, awesome gift from Zulu Warriors. Uh, go check their channel out, guys. Um, they don't put up, like, videos of their collection and stuff like that. But uh, we talk back and forth a lot. And I got some stuff on the way to him that he still has not received yet. But uh, this is for Monsters. And this is the UK slipcase, the 3D lenticular version. And it is awesome. It works really well, very deep, and uh, picks up a lot of stuff. Everything really, uh, like the trees and everything really pop out at you, and these guys are like way back there. But uh, all the signs and all that really pop out. I doubt I'm actually picking it up on this camera or not or anything, but uh, it's very nice. And it's got one of those that doesn't come all the way up, so it's good because you can just like barely slide it up when you go to put it on your shelf, you know what I mean, without scratching the bottom of the slip cover. But yeah, here is Monsters. Like I said, guys, if you want to see me unbox any of these, that's cool. Just let me know. But, uh, yeah, Monsters. 
And then last but not least, this is getting to be one of my favorite uh, uh, lenticular slips. This thing looks amazing. And it is obviously kick ass. Um, the actual words kick ass in the background are like way far back there. And these guys really pop out at you, man. Can you believe I haven't even watched this movie yet? So I'll definitely have to pop this one in. But it's a very nice looking slip cover, guys. Once again, I do believe that this is the Canadian version. But yeah, this works really well, man. I know I'm probably not going to be able to pick it up too good on this camera. But yeah, man, there it is, guys. That's it for today. Nice little package of goodies came in. So a uh, little couple trips to Best Buy and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I'll run back through them like I always do real fast. And uh, yeah, we had Julia and Julia. Nacho Libre, Nacho, Night at the Museum, The Uninvited, Groundhog Day, uh, I Am Legend, Blow, Memento, Cabin Fever, Ink, and The Warriors. And then, for slips, we had Bambi, Part 2, Thor, Bitch Slap, and monsters from Zulu Warriors. So thank you for that, guys. Anyway, that's it. That's my little update for today. Guys, thanks so much for watching and stopping by. Hopefully, I will see you soon. Until then, have a great day, guys. See ya! Bitch slap!